Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, uh, the information that we got here doesn't come from the Ukrainians, <clears throat> doesn't come from uh, the Russians, come from, comes from the European Commission, which is um, on the uh, Ukrainian side, obviously, or at least is in the sponsor's side. And uh, since they always tell the truth, the free, uh, free world, you know, the free mass media, then it must be true. So let's see what these guys are claiming. This article comes uh, via Ukrainska Pravda from today, November 30th, 2022. The head of Com European Commission says that Ukraine losses estimated at 100,000 military personnel in war. But you might ask, how is that possible when the Russians attacked civilian targets 97% according to Ukrainians? So I made a video, I think one day ago, or two days ago, where the Ukrainians were claiming that uh, the Russians, one of the Ukrainian officials claimed, I can't remember whose name it was, Ignat, I think he was, and he said that um, the Russians fired, or Zelensky, really Zelensky? Anyway, one of these guys said that uh, uh, Russia fired about 16,000 projectiles since uh, the, the war started or something like 16,000, I think uh, it's more than that, but anyway, 16,000. And uh, he said that 97% um, of the projectiles, which is, you know, uh, missiles, rockets, uh, mortar, artillery, whatever, 97% of those w hit civilian targets well if they hit civilian targets 97 percent and we got what three more percent and it's estimated 100 100,000 military personnel died uh obviously that uh, that amount uh, of that number of 100,000 people military personnel did not die only in uh, artillery shelling probably they died in uh, you know uh, how, how do you call it, uh, regular encounters as a uh, field, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, or a depart uh, departments, uh, <laughs> detachments here, detachments here. So um, <clears throat> infantry uh, fighting. Uh, it's still, I don't know, um, again, with these guys you have to, uh, they sometimes come and give you an information from this side regarding some other information that they didn't give it to you on this side. So, for instance, right now they give you this article, um, obviously comes from Ukrainska Pravda, where uh, someone else, which is the European Commission, tells you that about an estimated 100,000 military personnel died, the Ukrainians. And then you got the other uh, article where they tell you that uh, the Russians uh, killed, uh, killed 97% um, attacked civilian targets. Remaining 97 would be military. Now, and those, and, uh, remaining, remaining 3%. So the rem remaining 3% means that uh, is responsible for, I don't, I don't want to say 100,000 uh, people because you don't know, as I said, how many were f uh, killed in in fi infantry fire versus, you know, shelling, artillery fire. So anyway, let's see what these guys are saying, how they uh, justify it, if they justify something like this. So Ursula von der Leyen, the head of the European Commission, issued an appeal on Wednesday in which she estimated the losses of Ukraine in the war against Russia at 100,000 military personnel. Von der Leyen devoted the appeal to the plan to confiscate frozen Russian assets and create a special tribunal to punish Russia for the crimes of aggression against Ukraine. And I'm quoting, Russia's invasion of Ukraine has brought death, devastation and unspeakable suffering. We all remember the horrors of Bucha or Bucha. It is estimated that more than 20,000 civilians and 100,000 soldiers, Ukrainian soldiers have been killed so far, the president of the European Commission said. She said that Russia must pay for its terrible crimes, including the crime of aggression against a sovereign state. The President of the European Commission noted that the EU proposed to create a specialized court with the support of the UN for the investigation and prosecution of the crime of Russian aggression. Von der Leyen, 
Lyon also said that Brussels, together with its partners, developed a plan for the confiscation of frozen Russian assets. Those are to be transferred for the needs of restoration of Ukraine and to compensate for the damage caused by the by war started by the Russian Federation. Um, now, I told you this is... Uh, When they want, they, when the Ukrainians want uh, more weapons, and they always want more weapons, they say they uh, maximize their losses. So you would hear that, uh, oh my God, uh, this is what happened. This is, we lost here. The Russians are advancing here. That's how you find out that the Russians actually conduct uh, offensive operations. And they tell you, oh, the Russians attacked here. The Russians overwhelmed us here. We need this. And they t give you a list of whatever they need. So then you find out in that article that was meant to tell you that um, they need weapons, you find out that actually the Russians are really winning here and there, you know? And then you get the information, okay, so that's not really what these guys are saying. When you read another, ar another article coming from the Ukrainian telling you about the war and what is the situation over there, they will not tell you the Russians are advancing. They will not tell you the Russians are winning here and there for obvious reasons. I mean, you're in a war, you're not going to say, oh my God, we're losing, let's uh, drop our weapons and, uh, you know, go and sign a peace treaty that we uh, do not agree with. So, but f so from different articles, you can get the truth that is not said in that article, it, but it was hid in another article. Like for instance, right now, in this article, obviously we find out the extent of the um, Ukrainian military losses in person, personnel, about 100,000 people, which is a lot. Something that we don't, don't, hear, don't hear in other articles that are meant to tell us the, you know, what's, how many uh, Ukrainians died. I think since this uh, war started, uh, I don't know if I read one, one article before this one, where the Ukrainians said how many people died so far, how many Ukrainians died? But every day they give you the information how many click click Russians died, died which is um, how should I put it? It's normal. You do this in a war. What I'm trying to say is you get information of this from this, <laughs> and you get the information for this from this article. It's just uh, that's the way it works. And uh, now you have to see why do they um, bring up 100,000 personnel and so on destruction because they're gonna try to freeze the Russian assets that's the whole purpose of the whole article here is to let you know let us know that the Russians caused a lot of uh, a big destruction over there in Ukraine big 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 which uh, I have no doubt uh, uh, that occurred uh, and then they try to uh, get um, you know Russian money and set this uh, tribunal to somehow prosecute the Russian uh, leadership or whomever but they will not look in other countries' crimes. This is what I always have a problem with that. If you pretend or you want to pretend that you are just, you have to be just uh, with everything. So I can't uh, go and, I don't know, prosecute uh, your father for, uh, I don't know, robbing a bank, but I will not prosecute my father for robbing the same bank three days before. You know, <laughs> then this is what I just discard this kind of uh, uh, virtue signaling. So when I see the West and I see the United Nations, United States, um, these guys with the European Union and others uh, pointing out that, hey, the Russians must be uh, I don't know, brought in front of justice and so on. I'm all for it. But remember, that's only, only on this circumstance. That's about your dad. How about my dad? You know, so when they're going to start prosecuting people that are still alive, which I think uh, I would say the people who were responsible for bombarding Yugoslavia, uh, Serbia, 1999. I'm, those guys are still alive. They should be prosecuted, prosecuted right now. And then you go to the Russians. If you start doing that, uh, I would, you know, um, be inclined to listen to your, um, uh, you know, cries for justice and all that. Until then, I do not support these kind of things. I do not. You are bigger criminals than these criminals. And you say, uh, you know, same with the uh, Second World War. Yeah, you can point the fingers to the uh, German military. All right, okay. Do you think that the other side did not commit crimes like that? I'm talking about military. I'm not talking about, uh, you know, uh, this and that. Military. 
I mean, you got uh, Yodel, you got uh, Keitel, you got, uh, you know, Goering, you got them over there, right? Do, do you think that the other side, I didn't hear anything about the other side being anybody hanged or anything. Why is that? Because they won. <laughs> and the other ones were, well, the other ones lost. So it's not really justice. Or do you think the other army did not do anything? It was A-OK -okay 100%. I don't believe that and uh, evidence supports uh, a different kind of uh, story, if you know what I mean. Just think of Dresden, the bombardment of Dresden by the Allied uh, bombers, which was United States and Great Britain. And then you see uh, how many people were brought to justice for that crime. Two atomic bombs dropped on civilian targets. Where is that guy? Buried and uh, respected. Well, well, that's, that's how it, uh, things work. You got the muscle, you're the just one. You lose, you get hanged. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.